Hey everybody, welcome back to On the Glide Slope. We are here today with uh, Basement Fly Kid. Yo. And we are going to try out the new, well not new, new to us, Flamingo Airport Scenery Pack, which uh, is on the island of where? Uh, Bonaire? Bonaire. Uh, Bonaire, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. place that we've gone scuba diving a couple times, and we checked it out. And, and snorkeling. For and snor younger ones. Snorkeling for younger ones, and we figured we'd try, out, try it out. And also, we are rocking the double butt kicker lineup. Yep. We were able to find two butt kickers on eBay. And Jay, or, I'm sorry, Basement Fly Kid has never sat on the butt kicker before. Uh, yeah. And so we don't know what he's going to think of that, but I guess we're going to find out in a second because we're about to try to start the virtual airplane. Oh. I also have a YouTube channel yep. called Jaybird Gaming, so you might want to check that out. Jaybird Gaming. So we're going to uh, fiddle with a few settings, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we're here. We're getting ready to fire it up. Let's see if it works. We've got a fuel pump on. Oh, is it going to on? Beacon. I hear something. Yep. Ready? Oh, this is interesting. Ah. Uh, is that working? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is working, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it feels like I'm in a very, like, strange <laughs> massage. Now watch this. Avionics are on. And flashy things. Flashy Yay. things, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any traffic just in case. Feels strange. Okay, yes. so let's taxi around down here first a little bit because we want to see what the scenery looks like. So, uh, test okay. taxi if it's lights actually on. accurate. If it's accurate. I imagine the, 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 it isn't very accurate because there's, uh, ooh. Yeah, it's replaced it with some, the Orbix scenery has replaced it with some trees that look. Not very tropical. Yeah, like fall trees. Those look like the real tropical trees though. Yeah. Let's turn around and look. There's the fuel pump. That's Where's the pink? Where's the pink? There's no pink? Treachery. Shh. <laughs> There's the hangar. Oh, there it is, Jay. Bur or, uh, basement fly kit. Pink. Yep, there's all the pink stuff. Pink stuff. Um, I guess we're going to have to taxi down this way because we can't get that way without hitting a wing on something. So we'll go this way. Should we take well, off just like we do in the real world? I guess. I'm, I'm not doing the takeoff. I'm gonna. You want me to steer? We're gonna go flying. Okay. And if and uh, that was not meant to be a pun. No, but that was punny anyway. You notice every <laughs> once in a while you roll over the concrete and you feel it rumble in your seat? Ah. Kind of cool. Uh, I'm getting like a massage for the uh... For the old hiney. Yeah. <laughs> See like right there, did you feel that? Uh. There's another one. Oh, this looks like the real Crawlendike Flamingo Airport, known for its pink colors. Anybody coming? Mango? You don't see the big KC-110 uh, from uh, KLM coming down there, do you? The KC-110, uh, KC the big DC-10. Okay. It's a K. That's like a KC. Is, is that like um, runs with the crack and uh, uh, cool? I don't know. Aid, cool aid, cool aid. Oh, can you feel the bumps in the runway? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Look, here goes the pink airport. Ow. Look. It's just like a real thing. Peace out, Roy. Got a manatee plush. And we're up. Uh -huh. Gear up. I thought we'd, I thought we'd feel a sudden bump when that happened. Yeah, it has put um, the... Now, that would be the donkey sanctuary over there, right? Yeah. It has put, put the trees from the Orbex tree package in here. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of fall colors in Bonaire no, this there, time of no, year. No, there isn't. No. That would be the donkey sanctuary right there. There is a donkey There's a donkey sanctuary. Yeah. Oh, it actually has a little ranch. Yeah. Nice. 
It's not exactly that type of terrain. Do you think it's going to have the big pyramids? Trees. What? Do you think it's going to have the big salt pyramids? I don't see them. What do you mean by salt pyramids? Yeah, oh, where the right, there, right there, right there. No, no, yeah, that there. That, now that was a palm tree. That looked right. There's mm -hmm. Lock Bay over there. I don't remember any of the words you're saying, so... Uh, you remember Lock Bay. That was where we went. All those windsurfers were and everything, remember? Let me check my... Oh, there's the salt things. Yeah, there are the salt flats. I don't see the pier, and I don't see the... Salt things. Big pyramids at the Cargill Salt Works, but this looks real over here. The, the, I'll tell you, the, the edge of it sure looks real. In terms of the water out there. That looks like a real thing. I think thing. that might actually be real. Pictures. I wonder if this is for the people um, that um, do the thing, go vacationing. Uh, oh, look, there's the big oil tanks from the refinery. Well, it's a storage facility, actually. Uh-huh. We've actually been over there, right? Yeah, we've been over there. And then that's Klein Bonaire. Klein Bonaire right there, Little Bonaire. There isn't uh, that many houses, though. It's only 11 miles. It's not very big. Well, this is, this looks like the real thing, because here's, here's Colendike. Colendike, Colendike. that down there is Blenheim. That's where the place that we stay is at, Jay, is down there. Or, uh, basement fly kid. Rats. Hmm. Do they don't, oh, what? I uh, was a little, I, I used the trim wheel. It, it, Dad, it they uh, don't know my real problem. name. No, yes, nobody knows your real name. You are like, uh, Spider-Man. Actually, but everybody knows his real name, but... What's his real name? What's his real name? I thought it was Spider-Man. No. Oh, that water looks great, doesn't it? His real name is the guy who got bit by the spider. Now he has very uh, no, sick powers. No, see, that's real. It has that those lagoons and stuff in real life and those condos down there. I don't remember those lagoons, but that okay. It looks like the real thing. And, I don't remember Oh, and look, Jay, there's... Or Basement Fly Kit, there's the uh, soccer stadium. It's going to be right out this window just like in the real world. It's actually there. Yeah. You'll watch. You'll see. It's coming You'll up. You'll see. I'll be back in the next movie. Here it is. There's the soccer stadium. What Well, that's realistic. Yeah. Klein Bonaire looks realistic. That's sort of what it looks like in the real world. There's not that many... That, there's not that much yellow. No. The fall colors are... Yeah, the trees are not are not what they should be, but that, you know. And, and if there's snow? Nothing wrong with that. And if there's snow? Snow in the winter, you think that would kill the realism a little bit? Eh, a little too much. That's all photorealistic there. That's what that all looks like. We should see the little... That's where we went, right? Yeah, we should see the little place where we go diving. Yeah, there's the... Yeah. There's now, the, the Harbor Village Resorts are right there. That it doesn't really... I mean, uh... Miss, uh basement fly guy. Yeah. It doesn't look very... It looks like you could actually go in there. Not like it's 2D. I agree. Oh, and there's the sand dollar. Right there. Look at that. I'll be darned. Alright, let's go check out the uh, Gotomir, which is uh, the little lake up here. And we will come back. Why don't we come back over um, Are we going Rincon? to the Parrot Resort? The Parrot Resort. We just passed over it. I thought it was down there. Uh, well, we are far north already. Now we're coming up along uh, the real north part where the road gets one way, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, these fall colors, they, they kind of kills the realism just a little bit. Uh, in the winter, though, that's just going to... Uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's Rincon down there. We never went through. Actually, we did go through there. Yeah, but we stopped. Yeah, we've been to Rincon because once you get up here, it's one way, and you have to go all the way up over to Rincon to get down back the other way. And then remember, on the other side is where all the remember where we saw all the big uh, jellyfish. Ooh, the oh, Portuguese man of war. I almost kill myself. We did almost step on Portuguese man of war, which would have been, I believe, the technical term is bad. Yeah, I that right there is there's me. there's uh that right there is where um, oil slick leap is. Because that's where the road comes down. And uh, the technical term for if I actually stepped on it with my bare feet... Would have been owie. No, it would have been dead. Well, it wouldn't have killed you. just would have hurt you. No. Portuguese Man of War is not going to kill a healthy, strong kid like you. But yeah. it would not have been a happy moment. Okay, so here we've got the oil storage facility. We've got Gotamir, which is this lake. That's where uh, a lot of the penguins are. Penguins. Flamingos. 
Them penguins. All right, let's go. Them penguins that are pink. Let's go turn over, <laughs> turn over Rincon now. <sighs> you want to fly? Go ahead. Oh goodness. You got it. Oh gosh. I know who I'm doing. I haven't done this. You've said that every time. You fly just fine. You need to pull up just a little bit. There you go. That's a little too much. Uh, there you go. Uh, there's Rincon. You're doing great. I kind of feel like like um that you should be able to go to other places, but um and then you could like save it there and then you'll actually get them in. That'd be cool. Yeah. The kinda clouds like look realistic. Kind of like Pokemon. Mhm. Mm yeah. Now, in there's case not really. You did not know. I'm I'm obsessed with Pokemon. He is. Now we don't really have a beach here. There is no beach, but it kind of that would be sort of the coral side of the island. That looks realistic. Wow, that looks great out that window there. You're doing a good job. Okay, now we need to land this way because that's the way the wind's coming. So you need to come back out this way over Klein Bonaire, so we can land. Bad turn. Bad turn. Oh, you got Shh. gentle on the stick there, sailor. I'm not a sailor. I'm an air sailor. Nose down a little bit. There you go. Cow. It. Yeah, you're good. So you want to come out over Klein, go that way, and then we'll come in and land this way. I wonder if I see any whales. I don't know. I'll keep my eyes open. In fact, see that point? Nose down. Nose mm. down. There you go. See that point? Fly out to that point on Klein. Which point, the, like, um, when it, until it hits, like, the dark? Yeah, color? see that little, see that little spot right there? Fly at that. No, point kind of means, like, edge, not exactly well, endless. Well, that, that, uh, part of the island, if that's more correct. Mine's endless. Technically, if you think about it. We've got some cool clouds out there. Yeah, pretty much the whole entire world's endless. It has uh, no end. Uh, well, it is a circle, so it just keeps going around and around and around. It's yeah. a globe. Until, of course, the sun blows up. But, uh, Luckily, we don't have to worry about that for a while. Yeah, we'll be in, like, we'll be in heaven, like, fly, drinking fly a just soda, a little bit to that side of it. And I'm going to be like, why is there fireworks tonight? I don't, I don't recall it's any holiday. Did you feel how the butt kicker changed when I changed the throttle? Oh, I wonder what it's going to be when I go full. When we land? Well, I'm going to land us now, okay? So you, I'm Clyde. so you need to say you have the airplane. Mm. When you're ready to give it to me, you say you have the airplane. You have the airplane. I have the airplane. And then you say you have the airplane. You have the airplane. Just, just to confirm. Just if we can't, sure. Do you want to try to land us? No, no, no. Oh, okay, I'll try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, out. All right, you got it. We're going to go flying. I'll tell you when to turn. <laughs> I'll control the flaps. Keep us going straight. No, keep us going straight until I tell you. Yeah. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Gear is fine. No, keep going straight. Gas is to both. Make sure rich, prop full. I'll tell you when to turn. Oh, there's a larger bump. Goes up a little bit. There right you go. Then, right about now. Why is it brown? Yeah, you can start turning a little bit now. Yeah, why? Um, oh, I think I made that to be sort of like the coral. Nose down a little bit. You're climbing. We're at 1,500 feet. we got a lot of altitude to lose. Okay, fly straight. We'll intercept the runway. I need to uh, train myself out. Straight. That's good. There you go. There. That's, that's about right. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's about right. We're still at 1,300 feet. We still got a lot. Now, I would fly straight and then turn and intercept it rather than continuing to turn down. Then you'll be able to line up a little bit better. Uh, thank you for the information. Yeah. And hold her steady. You're doing fine. That's perfect. Next notch of flaps. Nose down. Fuel pump is on. Also, in case you didn't know, Landing I'm are not on. that familiar to this. Landing gear. Don't forget those. Do oh. you feel those in your butt kicker? Ow. <laughs> oh, easy. Small movements. You're doing great. If we were in real life, I recommend we be having a roller coaster pro right now. Okay. 
Get us lined up. All right, we've got three in the green. Gear down and fixed. Flaps. Easy little movements. Full flaps. Got to come this way a little bit. Pull up. Ah, oh, dang it. Pull up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Nose down. There you go. You're doing great. Aim us right at it, just like a video game. Pull up a little bit. It is a really game. Well, kind of. I haven't played any fine video games lately. I'm just adjusting our trim a little bit. We need to go this way a little bit. Now see, we're Too descending white. just right. No, you're doing great. I can't see a red. Just like that. Or a white for that matter. Line up, point at the runway. My hand's off the stick. Point it right at it. Don't worry about that tree, you won't hit it. Pull back a little bit. Uh, imagine if I absolutely stick for Little movements, thing. not big non movements, little movements now. Just let her glide down. Then pull up a little bit when we get down there so you don't crash us. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh! That was a cruncher. We're going to have to get the landing gear fixed after that one. But we're alive. I think I made finger, yep, I made finger marks. Here, we'll go taxi up to <sighs> really? Flamingo Can Airport and sh show the pink airport. That was good. A lot better than the last time. The last time I almost killed us. Virtually. Virtually. And look, look, there's a guy named, the guy, are you red? Yeah, you're red. So, your name is Mike, my name's Jack. There See? you go. Is that what that says? Oh yeah, Mike, Mike Jack. Jack. Mike Jack. <laughs> Mike and Jack. Okay, so hey, here's a, here's, a, here's a little view of uh, Flamingo Airport. And Where we've gone before. And uh, it is, this is an extremely accurate representation of what it really looks like. <laughs> and uh, I mean, down to, boy, the letter it is, looks just like this, including up here where it says Flamingo Airport. There's usually a couple of uh, KLM DC-10 sit here, or L-10-111. Of course it's not in English. But it claps up. It's like, Fuel um, pump off, landing lights off. Of course, as you can see, it, it's in uh, English, which it, it, of course it's not, since it's like a Dutch. No, it says, it, says, it says Flamingo Airport, just like that in English. It does. I don't remember. Yeah, and it's got that pink control tower. And that's what, that used to be the departure lounges, but not anymore. Now you depart from over there in the brand new departure lounge. But look, it doesn't have all the stickers that they put on the windows. That is a really realistic detail. So for those who are watching on the YouTube, it used to be that you left this little departure lounge here and everybody would put their dive stickers or their local stickers from their hit local home. Sign. You're gonna uh, hit the I'm sign. not gonna hit the sign. Mm -hmm. And they even, if you can see here, out the window, they have all the stickers on the windows. That is a really cool detail. Well, and we've got the Bonarian and the Dutch flags flying on the flight poles, and that's where immigration is, which is where we need to go next. Right? Got mm -hmm. your passport? No, Dad, you don't need to say we're moving. Oh, How no. are you going to get all this? No, no, I meant just here in the virtual world. We've got to go through and give them our passport. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for flying, Basement Fly Kid. And what was the name of that YouTube channel again? Jaybird Gaming. Jaybird Gaming. Right, look for it. It's going to be the next big thing. That's Jaybird. That's what I said. J A Y B R I D and just, then Space Gaming. Just in case you're running that down at home. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching on the Glide Slope. And my name on Roblox is Jaybird. So. There yeah. you go. And uh, thanks for flying. Well done. <laughs>